Hey. So I'm testing out new backgrounds for videos. As you can tell, none of my backgrounds have ever gone well. And I totally forgot that this, that this would be here. So we're just gonna deal. Welcome to my favorites of 2018 and plans and goals for 2019 video. I have so many things that I am pumped for for 2019 and so many great things that I did and purchased in 2018. So let's just kick this off. Let's get started. 2018. What did we love? What did we do? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Okay, so we're gonna start off with books. I didn't read as much as I would have liked to in um, 2018. One fiction book that I read that I don't have here is Woman in the Window. I let someone borrow it and it was really good. It's a suspenseful book. It reminds me a lot of Girl on the Train. But by the end of the book, I was literally like freaking out. P page turning. That was pages turning. That was me miming. Pages turning. And then another book that I really liked is this book that Gage got me for my birthday this year. It's the only astrology book you'll ever need. It's just, it's just a textbook of astrological signs and how to pair with them and how to like know about them. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about skincare. I love skincare, I talk about it all the time, and I've had some really great favorites this year. Okay, so I have three favorites from this year. I have the Crude Personal Care Bloom Serum. Every now and then I will skip my moisturizer and just put on the serum and then use my jade roller to roll it in. It feels so good on my skin and it just makes my skin look incredible by the morning. I am such a fan of this. This is like a for life product. This will always <laughs> be in my home and in my skincare essentials. I love this. Another thing that I purchased in 2018 was a reusable makeup wipe. So essentially you're just supposed to put them in warm water and it takes away your makeup. I also use a micellar water on top of it just a little bit. Okay, so my last skincare favorite for 2018 was the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Glow Moisturizer. Holy cow, holy grail product. The best moisturizer I've ever used for my skin and I'm almost out. I have to go repurchase some. I'm gonna try today. There's <laughs> there's nothing left in there. I'm a, I'm a Kate Somerville advocate. So I have three hair care products from 2018 that I just, holy grail. The first one is the Trader Joe's hair mask. It's like $4.99 and it smells like the beach and it's, it's so good. I will use this after I use a purple shampoo. It is so good and the price is so good. This is a must have product in my opinion. Okay, so I feel like 2017, 2018 has been the year of Kristen S. She has made amazing hair products, but one that I really loved is the thickening spray. So I have pretty thick hair. I have a lot of hair, but it's really fine. And so using this before I dry my hair has been so awesome. My hair <laughs> has volume and I do use a few other products, but this has been by far my favorite. And my last hair care favorite from hair care, my last hair favorite, whatever, is the Detox Dry Bar Shampoo. Dry, dry no, wait, De Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. This stuff smells amazing. I have used drugstore dry shampoos before. I've used a lot of drugstore dry shampoos before and I feel like I run out of them so much quicker. Whereas this, I just need a tiny little bit and it does so much. I love this so much. I forgot to talk about this with skincare, but these are different. These are like, these are for your body. And that is the Saint Tropez uh, Self Tan M Mousse, Mace, Mouses. So I have the classic, which I got in like a sampler type thing and I loved it. And it was really hard for me to justify the price at first. When you compare it to how much like a spray tan costs, this is so much more cost effective and I feel like it lasts longer and I just really love using this. And they also have the bronzing water mousse. So it's like clear, Gage is studying, sorry. Um, so it's clear. So if you have white sheets like I do, or if you need to tan in the morning, um, this is great. It won't transfer at all. Trust me, I've, I've tried. It does not transfer. So I really 
love these so for my home i have really been loving my air purifier um we purchased it in the summer when there were a lot of wildfires um, in Utah and California and our air quality was terrible and I was getting headaches all the time So we purchased an air purifier and it just has done so much and we always have it running It's on a quiet mode and it's super um, uh, Energy efficient I think is the word the phrase I'm looking for we we love it and I highly recommend it my brother Use this one in his bedroom for his allergies. It's so great. We love it. We purchased ours at Costco. Lastly, for 2018 is my favorite like moment or memory. And I really have to say that going to New York City was like my favorite, my very, very top for 2018. It was so needed for me to get out of my element and just be with a ton of people who didn't care about me, who didn't know me, who don't care about Utah. <laughs> it was an emotional experience and I was happy every single minute, every single day that we were there. And it, it was incredible. It was incredible and I'm so thankful that we were able to take that trip. <sighs> I loved it. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about 2019 and I'm gonna show you my vision board. It's just so exciting. Okay, so this is my vision board for 2019. You can see <clears throat> that my 2019 word is grind. And it is also my foam wallpaper, which I dig, I love. This is my year where I'm just so excited to do really great things at my job and do really great things on YouTube. So this is my uh, vision board. Fitness is something that is really important to me for 2019. You may not be able to tell, but your girls gained some weight this past year, like, like some weight. So I'm excited to prioritize my fitness and my health. And you'll notice that I didn't just put fitness on my vision board. I kind of outlined how I want to make that a priority. I have YouTube on my vision board. I would like to get to 200 subscribers. You guys, let's rally together and get me like 73 more subscribers. I think that's what I need. As of now, my schedule is every other Friday. So you're watching this on a Friday, maybe. I'll upload in two weeks. I think that's good, that's good. I have my work on my vision board. I absolutely love my job. I love what I'm doing, but I would love to get a raise. Travel, I have plans to go to California and Arizona this year, so I might add more, more things there. I don't know, where should we go? Let me know. And then health is on here. I would love to visit a naturopathic doctor in the next year. Um, I think that's how you spell and say it. It's basically um, a holistic doctor. Like instead of taking ibuprofen, to help your chronic pain. They're gonna look at what's really going on inside your body and a more holistic way to help heal you. Um, and then I do have a section for home and savings, but I didn't really wanna put my financial state on the internet. Anyway, so that's my vision board for 2019. I love this. I'm gonna put this in my closet so I see it every morning. And I think this is a great way because I have so many things that I want to accomplish in 2019. And this is a way to just daily remind me you got things to do, girl. Grind. You know what I'm saying? So let me know in the comments below what your 2019 word is. I'm very interested to see. Anyway, that's it. That's my 2018 favorites and goals for 2019 video. I'm so sorry that I sound out of breath this whole video. I don't know what's going on. I did have two Diet Cokes today and it's like noon. So maybe I should slow down. Don't forget to subscribe. Help a sister out. And I will see you in two weeks at the next video. Goodbye. Okay,